Rediscovering the magic, loving your spouse when you feel like walking away, join Gary Chapman, an acclaimed author known for his five love languages series, on a captivating journey to revitalize your relationship. With his expertise as a senior pastor at Calvary Baptist Church, Chapman shares invaluable insights and strategies for strengthening the bonds with your partner. In a world where relationships often face turmoil and uncertainty, loving your spouse when you feel like walking away offers a lifeline. This remarkable book reveals how you can transform a deteriorating relationship into one filled with love and understanding. Chapman teaches you the art of truly comprehending your partner and listening to their unspoken words, enabling you to enhance your connection like never before. Who is it for? Those who yearn to improve their relationship with their partner. Couples navigating through challenging times in their married life. Individuals seeking to rescue and preserve faltering relationships. Embark on an extraordinary journey of rediscovery as you learn the secrets to reignite the flame and create a love that withstands the test of time. Loving your spouse when you feel like walking away holds the key to transforming your relationship into a profound and lasting bond. Beyond Divorce, Transforming Troubled Relationships Divorce may seem like an easy way out when faced with marital difficulties, but it's not the answer. Our society has developed a habit of discarding the old for something new, be it a phone or even a marriage. When challenges arise in our married life, thoughts of divorce often creep in. Many individuals secretly hope to hear their friends suggest divorce as a solution when discussing the struggles they face in their married life. But here's the thing, your partner is not an object to be replaced like an outdated possession. Divorce is not the solution to your problems. In fact, it often exacerbates the pain. If you have children, you can't simply leave them behind. Even if they stay with you, they'll always feel the absence of the other parent's love. You'll find yourself working all day, while your children are left alone, yearning for the affection of both parents. However, the reasons driving you towards divorce can be resolved. Just like when your body falls ill, you seek treatment instead of setting it on fire. Similarly, if you're going through conflicts with your partner, ending the relationship and starting anew with someone else won't magically solve your problems. You need to find a solution within the conflict itself. Divorce is not as easy an escape from your troubles as it may seem. Instead, you should work towards improving your relationship, rather than ending it. Embracing positivity, stepping out of difficult times. T to overcome challenging times, it is crucial to focus on positive aspects. When you feel down, those around you also tend to feel low. Moreover, dwelling on negative thoughts only perpetuates sadness. Therefore, even in tough situations, it's important to recognize the good things happening in your life. One thing to understand well is that your mindset determines your level of happiness. If you constantly think about all the things that could go wrong, it's evident that you will remain unhappy. Therefore, maintain a positive outlook. For example, consider Wendy, whose husband had been unemployed for a long time. This situation forced them to make significant budget cuts, and they couldn't afford to watch movies or go out anymore. As a result, their relationship was strained. However, Wendy started paying attention to the positive aspects. She noticed that because they were not watching movies, they were spending more quality time together and understanding each other better. Wendy began assuring her husband that he would find a job soon, and things would improve thereafter. Negative thinking creates a cycle. The more you indulge in negative thoughts, the more entangled you become in them. So, think positively. Positive thinking allows you to identify ways to improve your circumstances, Assisting your partner in meeting your needs. Often, we tend to idealize our partners in our minds, expecting them to fulfill all our needs and desires. It can be disheartening when these expectations are not met, leading to feelings of distress. A similar situation occurred with the clients Jamal and Suzanne. Suzanne was a highly competitive saleswoman who excelled at her job. Jamal admired her qualities and married her. However, after their marriage, Jamal realized that Suzanne did not meet his expectations. He believed that once he married Suzanne, he would come home to delicious meals and a clean and tidy house. 
However, Suzanne became occupied with taking care of their first child and their newborn, leaving her with little time for household chores. Frustrated by the situation, Jamal would express his dissatisfaction, often criticizing Suzanne. You may have experienced a similar situation when your partner fails to meet your standards, and you confront them. However, such confrontations may exacerbate the problem rather than resolving it. When Jamal sought advice from the author, he learned and decided to change his approach. He apologized to Suzanne and promised to be a better husband. Instead of complaining when he came home, he began to embrace his wife and spend quality time with their daughters. As a result, Suzanne became happier, and she started asking him what she could do to make him feel better. Gradually, their situation improved, and Jamal began to receive delicious meals from Suzanne. In situations where your partner is unable to meet your needs, it is essential to offer help and support instead of criticism. Open communication, understanding, and finding ways to assist each other can lead to a better relationship and an improved situation for both partners. Awakening Priorities, A Tale of Love, Sacrifice, and Transformation In a captivating tale of love and transformation, meet Jim and Amy, a married couple struggling with the challenges of their daily lives. Jim, consumed by work, finds himself unable to spend quality time with Amy and their children. Amy, desperate to convey her frustrations, takes a bold step to awaken Jim's realization. She surprises Jim by taking him to a retirement home, despite the fact that they are still 27 years away from retirement. Perplexed, Jim questions Amy's motive. Her response is nothing short of profound. She explains that by the time they retire, it would take an additional 27 years for them to truly experience moments together, as well as for their children to truly know their father. Amy's message strikes a chord within Jim, unraveling the consequences of his actions. In a moment of clarity, Jim understands that sacrificing his family for the pursuit of success would ultimately lead to losing them. Determined to make a change, he embarks on a journey to find a new job that will allow him to prioritize his family. This heartfelt story emphasizes the importance of open communication and the transformative power of realizing one's mistakes. It reminds us that sometimes, a gentle push is needed to awaken our senses and re-evaluate our priorities. Jim and Amy's tale serves as a powerful reminder to cherish our loved ones and create meaningful connections amidst the chaos of life. Cracking the code of controlling partners, navigating love's complexities. Summary, in an engaging and enlightening tale, explore the nuances of understanding a controlling behavior in your partner. Often, we find ourselves feeling trapped as our partner attempts to exert control over our every move. But the truth is far from being held captive. Such partners possess two distinct desires. Firstly, they greatly value their independence, wishing for us to constantly update them on our whereabouts and companions. They strive to delegate their personal responsibilities onto us. Secondly, they yearn for us to acknowledge their significance in our lives. They seek our undivided attention, yearning to feel deeply cared for. It is crucial to avoid engaging in arguments with such partners, as it rarely leads to a resolution. Instead, strive to understand their needs and make an effort to fulfill them, all while safeguarding your own happiness. For instance, if your partner prefers you to stay home and manage household chores rather than work outside, take the time to comprehend their reasoning. Subsequently, explore alternative ways to meet their needs without sacrificing your own fulfillment. Consider, for example, hiring assistance for household tasks, ensuring that both of your needs are met. Remember, neglecting your own desires will ultimately hinder your happiness. If you aren't content, you cannot maintain your partner's happiness either. In this journey of love and self-discovery, it's essential to strike a delicate balance, nurturing both your partner's requirements and your own. By doing so, you pave the way for a harmonious relationship where both individuals can thrive.